Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a quick video to talk about Wi-Fi disconnecting and one of the things that is often overlooked when on Wi-Fi. We talked in the past, we have some videos about Wi-Fi troubleshooting and things that you should check when you have problems with slow speeds, disconnects and so on. One of them is of course making sure you're not on the same channel as your neighbors, which would actually cause a problem of connectivity sometimes, or speed, uh, update the drivers for all of your Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapters. But one overlooked thing is the power plan of your PC. On your PC, often and especially on the laptop, you have different power plans to save energy, save battery life, and what happens? Well, your devices, the hardware goes with the power plan, which means in hardware and Windows, you can actually have the hardware shut down when it's not used and then powered back up and reconnected when it's used. In theory, that works well, and for a lot of computers it does, but it doesn't always work well which means sometimes you have to override the default settings. Wi-Fi is an example for this. So what you'll need to do is go into the control panel. So go into control panel. You can search for it, uh, control panel. You can also, if you want, uh, in Windows 10 and 11, because by the way, this is uh, for both the computers, you can try to just say power plan and this will actually give you the edit power plan for the control panel so whatever options you choose what you want to do is of course and I'm gonna go the control panel way once you're here if you don't have these icons like I have make sure that on the upper right you change from category to large icons go into power options here you will then want to change the plan settings you have a selected plan often balanced is what most people have i have high performance because that's what i want change plan settings in here on the bottom you'll have change advanced power settings here you'll have this little panel and one of the options in the panel is actually wireless adapter settings open that then open the power saving mode and here you have the performance level. So it could be low power saving, medium power saving, or maximum power saving, but you also have maximum performance. Maximum performance, it never shuts down, always stays there. Now, be warned, it, can, it might prevent your computer from going to sleep if that's important to you. So what you wanna do is maybe choose for example when you're plugged in you can choose maximum performance and on battery you can choose a power setting but if it's too much of a problem you can do like what i have here which is maximum performance that's all you want plugged in or on battery it will never disconnect it'll always stay on and it will always try to be as fast as possible uh, in the connectivity so this is something that might be a problem for some Wi-Fi users that have disconnects all the time with their connectivity. So just put this to maximum performance. Once again, it uh, might prevent your computer from going to sleep. It might also kind of impact battery life. So just be warned that that's a possibility. And if all fails, well, sometimes it does happen that a Wi-Fi adapter is just not very good. There are bad bad adapters out there. Changing that adapter with some USB adapter, for example, is one way that you can, for some reason, um, you know, have a better connectivity. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.